Let us come together in a moment of reflection and prayer, seeking the presence and guidance of the Lord. I encourage you to join me in this prayer so that we may receive the blessings it brings. Heavenly Father, in your word, we find wisdom and truth. In Matthew 23 verses 25 to 28, we read about the sorrow that awaits those who focus only on outward appearances while neglecting the inner condition of their hearts. Lord, you see beyond the surface, you look into the depths of our souls. You know our true intentions and the secrets we hold within. Though we may not be like the Pharisees in name, we all have moments when we present a facade to the world, hiding our true selves. We have private thoughts, hidden motives, and sometimes, secret sins that we do not wish to reveal. Father, in our daily lives, we sometimes fall into the trap of living a double life, one that is public and carefully crafted for others to see, and another that is private, where we wrestle with our own shortcomings. We confess that it is easy to appear righteous on the outside, yet be filled with pride, insecurity, or fear on the inside. But you, O oh Lord, know the truth of who we are. You see our secret thoughts, our hidden intentions, and you understand the depth of our hearts. We ask for your forgiveness where we have fallen short, where we have sought to impress others rather than live genuinely before you. Lord, help us to align our public persona with our private character. Teach us to live with integrity, where what is seen on the outside reflects a heart that is pure and devoted to you. We don't want to be like whitewashed tombs, beautiful on the outside but full of dead men's bones on the inside. Instead, we long to be vessels of honor, clean both inside and out, filled with your spirit and guided by your truth. In Luke 18 verses 10 to 14, we are given the story of the Pharisee and the tax collector. The Pharisee, in his self-righteousness, stood and prayed about how thankful he was not to be like other sinners, boasting about his fasting and tithing. Meanwhile, the tax collector, recognizing his own unworthiness, stood at a distance, would not even look up to heaven, and beat his breast, pleading for mercy. Jesus, you taught us that it was the humble tax collector who went home justified, not the proud Pharisee. This parable is a clear reminder that it is humility and repentance that please you, not self-righteousness or a desire to be seen by others. Father, as we come before your throne today, we ask that you strip away any pride within us. Help us to approach you with a heart that is humble and contrite, recognizing that we are in constant need of your grace and mercy. Lord, cleanse us from the inside out. We don't want to be driven by the approval of others or a desire to appear holy in their eyes. Rather, we seek your approval alone, knowing that you are the only one who truly matters. In Ephesians 2 verses 8 to 10, your word tells us that it is by grace we have been saved, through faith, and this is not from ourselves, it is the gift of God, not by works, so that no one can boast. We are your workmanship, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which you prepared in advance for us to do. Lord, we are deeply grateful for this gift of grace, which we could never earn on our own. It is not through our efforts that we are saved, but through your infinite mercy and love. You paid the ultimate price on the cross for our redemption, and we acknowledge that it is only through you, Jesus, that we find salvation. Lord Jesus, help us to remember that our lives are to be lived as a testimony to your grace. As we strive to live in purity and holiness, give us the strength to overcome sin and to resist the temptations of self-righteousness and pride. We know that without you, we are powerless. We cannot achieve anything on our own, we need you every step of the way. Empower us, Lord, to walk in your ways, to deny ourselves, and to take up our cross daily, as you instructed in Matthew 16 verses 24 to 25. You call us to deny ourselves, to set aside our selfish interests, and to follow you with all our hearts. Father, we pray for hearts that are fully committed to you, hearts that seek to glorify your name in everything we do. 
We ask for a spirit of humility where we desire more of you and less of ourselves. Help us to live in such a way that our lives point others to you, and that the glory and praise belong to you alone. Examine our hearts, O God, and purify us. Cleanse us from all unrighteousness and fill us with your Spirit. May our lives be a reflection of your love and grace, shining brightly in a world that so desperately needs your light. In the mighty and precious name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. As we reflect on the parable of the Pharisee and the tax collector, we are reminded that those who exalt themselves will be humbled, and those who humble themselves will be exalted. We are saved by grace through faith, not by our own efforts, but as a gift from God. Let us take up our cross and follow Jesus, denying ourselves and living in a way that honors him. As we close this time of reflection and prayer, let us carry the lessons we've learned deep within our hearts. The call to live authentically before God, free from pride and self-righteousness, is a lifelong journey. It's a path that requires daily surrender, a constant reliance on His grace, and a sincere desire to glorify Him in all that we do. Remember, our ultimate audience is God alone. When we live to please Him, we walk in the light of His truth, and His blessings flow abundantly in our lives. I invite you to continue seeking God's presence beyond this moment. Stay connected with His Word, let His Spirit guide you and keep your heart open to the lessons he wants to teach you each day. If this prayer has touched your heart, I encourage you to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Your support not only strengthens our community but also helps to spread the message of God's love and grace to others who need it. Before you go, I want to encourage you to explore more videos on this channel that are filled with powerful prayers, uplifting messages, and spiritual guidance. These videos are designed to help you grow in your faith, find peace in times of trouble, and draw closer to God. So, take a moment to watch another video, it could be just what you need to hear today. Thank you for joining me in prayer. May God's peace be with you, His love surround you, and His grace continue to lead you every step of the way. God bless you, and I look forward to praying with you again soon.